Hi, so I'm making this video to answer to a question on our Discord to uh, work with the tail file. And as you can see, I have an object. It's uh, the tail imported file. And uh, I don't see it. And uh, the uh, origin of this object uh, is not uh, placed uh, correctly. So uh, you can uh, do uh, something really fast. Uh, you can, if you use RMB, uh, click on origin directly or shift S, uh, origin to geometry. And after you can press Alt G. Okay. After you can press on the dot and uh, show uh, view selected like this. Go in front view, RR to have this and place your object uh, as you want. You don't have to be perfect like this since uh, it's the tail. Most of the time, this is not cut uh, correctly like this object. Uh, I will place it like this. I will uh, cut it here to have something uh, something correct move it a little with shift to uh, slow down the rotation uh, I think I'm okay with this I will apply transformations control A transforms okay so I have my object here and if I'm okay with this I can keep it like this but I want to cut it directly on the on the plane here so you have several possibilities you can uh, create a plane like this, like this, directly. So you will cut this object with the plane, and uh, if you want to be sure to uh, to have something correct, you can do this. And I will just re reverse the uh, normals of my plane, and I will select this, select this. I will use speed flow, and I will create my boolean, and I will apply it with A. And that's it, my object will be cut like this. And if I go in front view, this is perfect. Okay, so this is as simple as that. And uh, if you want to give it uh, some uh, size, you can uh, create a plane, uh, not a plane, a cube. Uh, change the dimension of the cube, as you can see, I'm uh, in millimeters. So I will uh, just uh, do this. Like this. Um, I will select the back of the plane or I can directly press Shift S uh, origin to bottom like this and Alt G and like this I'm sure to have something nice. I will just uh, make the plane in wire mode and I will go here and I will just make a scale on this. Okay, so I know PSTW created a code that uh, allows you to um, add the dimension you want in Z, Y, and X. But uh, if you don't have it, and I don't have it, you can do this, and after you can apply everything like this. So this is uh, as simple as that. My object now is um, uh, 19 centimeters, and uh, this is nice. I created a code to make uh, something different. For example, I will move this here. Uh, I will apply everything like this. You have this result. I will just select my face. I will be sure to de deactivate this and deactivate the limit to visible. And I will press A and select my face here like this. And uh, on my code, this is here, copy custom orientation. And that will uh, create a custom orientation and uh, you will be able to reply and clear location with Ctrl and Alt. So I will just uh, Ctrl Alt and click. And that will uh, make uh, the uh, magic behind the code. And you plan it. It is not perfect. LZ. Because uh, I um, applied uh, the rotation, but uh, on the uh, face, as you can see, this is perfect. So now I will apply it, and that's it. I will just move this uh, to have this, like this. And as you can see, this is nice. So this is not available because it's not finished. I create a lot of uh, little code, <laughs> like this, etc., etc. But uh, we'll make uh, it finish and add it in uh, in Speedflow Companion. And uh, that's it. In fact, uh, this is uh, this is as simple as that. And you can, uh, of course, uh, if you want to cut uh, your object, uh, you can cut it. I can, uh, for example, create uh, a cube like this, make a rotation like this, and uh, make a boolean, etc., etc.
So this is uh, quite simple, and uh, you don't need any add-on uh, to do this, of course. Huh? You can use uh, booleans uh, directly uh, in the uh, modifiers. Uh, you can use uh, the options directly from the origin menu, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so bye-bye.